Well, the Royal Adelaide Hospital will cost taxpayers an extra $176 million and the project is now running months behind schedule. That's the stunning revelation from the Health Minister today, who also failed to rule out funding cuts to health in the state's budget review. A grim diagnosis delivered to the state government. Its new Royal Adelaide Hospital is running months behind schedule and now over budget. We will only get one shot at this and it's absolutely critical that we get this right. I'm not going to cut corners. The health minister says the builders insist they're on track for an April 2016 completion, but an independent review has found otherwise. Construction so delayed, it won't be finished until late winter or early spring. The delayed opening now clashing with peak flu season, when the hospital is at its busiest, forcing the state government to operate both the new and old hospitals in tandem for up to 73 days. The staggered changeover coming at an additional cost of $176 million. This has to be a safe, orderly move, planned in a meticulous manner with what they call an order of march down to the minute. It's worth every single dollar. The extra funds are needed to gradually move patients, staff and equipment, but the health minister denies it's a cost blowout. This covers things which we couldn't possibly have quantified uh, 10 years ago when we first started. A South Australian parliamentary inquiry heard last month construction was three months behind schedule and the opposition argues the delays and associated costs have been long known. The government has known about this for an extended period of time and they've kept the public in the dark until two days before Christmas. And the Treasurer will deliver the media budget review tomorrow. Alice Monfries joins us now live from Parliament House with more. Alice, what can we expect? Well, Kate, the Treasurer will hand down his mid-year budget review with a black hole of more than $250 million. Now, the state government blames federal cuts to our health funding, but it's also due in part to the scrapping of legislation for the car park tax. Now, the Premier has already foreshadowed a significant impact on our health system, and today the Health Minister refused to rule out whether that could include a loss of bed, beds, closure of wards or even entire hospitals, as has been threatened in the past. We'll know more when the budget update is handed down tomorrow at midday. Thank you, Alice.